The biggest paradigm as we move into Canvas is how and where we build content for our courses. In Canvas, for every course that you teach, you will be given a master course for each course and each iteration type of that course. For example, if you teach English 1301 face-to-face, -face, hybrid, and online, we'll give you a master course for all three types. These master courses are not tied to a semester term, never have students in them, nor ever published anywhere. They're available to you 24-7, 365 days of the year. This means you will always have access to build and modify your master courses without ever needing to contact the LMS administrator. Now, the master course, this is where you're going to build the gradebook by adding assignments to your classroom. If you run a hybrid or a face-to-face, -face, it's where you will add additional content for the course. The live course. The live course is a separate course that you will be given you'll be assigned for each semester you will be teaching that course. You will have a live course for every section of the course that you teach. For example, if you teach English 1301 section W01 and W02 and IL1, the course you will be given a blank shell for each one of those sections when you receive them. Those live courses are not published to the students until you publish them. And they're also empty. In the video below, I show you how to import your entire master course into this live shell. It's very easy. It takes very little time to do. It's literally like taking a cookie cutter and stamping out that cookie. And you can do that for each section that you have that is that type of master course. Now, what's very, very important is that as we're going forward, you need to stick to the same workflow and how you move content from your master course into your live course. So it's very important that you develop really good workflow habits. So a week or two into the semester and you need to add or modify content of your class, don't get lured into making those changes in content in your live course. You need to come back to your master course and make any changes like adding assignment or even an entire module. You need to create that in your master course and then come back to the live course and import it in. There's a video that shows you how to import just a single item, a page, or an entire module back into the live course that you have created or modified in your master course. It is just as quick and easy as it was when you were importing the entire content into the live course. The only rub is if you do have multiple sections, you make your, set, your changes here and you will import those changes one by one into each section that you have of that type of course that you've made a change into the content. So now let me stress, what do you do in your live course? Your live course has your students and that is where you're going to input your grades and interact with your students. If you have a face-to-face -face class, it's also where you're going to do your attendance through the roll call. It's important to understand that the live course at the end of term is archived and no longer editable after it is archived. So that's why it's important to make your changes in your master course and make sure that your master course is always up to date. So you're not trying to figure out at the end of the semester, what did you do here and what did you do there? Just make the practice of doing all your content changes in your master course and importing it into your live course so that at the end of the semester, your master course is sitting there ready to be utilized with the next semester's set of live courses. So once again, let me reiterate that your master course is the one and only place that you are to add content, build content, modify content for your course. The live course is the place that you interact with students and actually apply the grades. Make content here, import there. Work with your students in your live course and at the end of the semester that is archived and you're done, it goes away. You've got your master course sitting there, make your changes, the next semester comes along, we import it into the next set of live courses. 
So if you keep that workflow solid there, you're not going to have any problems. You're never going to have to worry about what's the most up-to-date information. It's always going to be your master course. Below, I have two additional master course videos on how to import the entire contents into your live course or just one or two items. So uh, be sure and watch those two videos so you know exactly how to do this import and be ready to move your master course into your live course at the beginning of each semester. If you have any questions or problems, contact Technology Services.